Greetings, welcome to the special session number three of ERP Next Theories. This is a topic about how to sort out let's encrypt and search bot in the Ubuntu 20.04 ERP Next installation. Let's enjoy the video. If you live in Singapore, I have a great website to introduce, og.com.sg, the e-commerce website for your shopping products. You can find various products including beauty, men and women, apparel, toys and health. Free delivery if you live in Milan, Singapore. You can do shopping at OG Albert, OG Oshad Pie and OG People's Bar. Please do not forget to like OG Singapore Facebook page, Think of Shopping. Or G Singapore. Let's start the topic for today. The let's encrypt and the third bot installation for the ERP Next 13. However, this one uh, setting I do it on my previous installation of the ERP Next on Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, so you support to finish that tutorial first in order to get the same environment. Okay, so let's go. When uh, the topic for today, we're gonna have four parts, and then uh, it's gonna start with what is less encrypt, okay? And then I'm gonna spend maybe a few minutes talking about third part, and then uh, prerequisite for this tutorial, and then the actual video captured tutorial. Okay, so let's see what is the less encrypt. Okay, the less encrypt itself uh, is the uh, certificate authority uh, that that gonna uh, give you. The public key and then private key encryption that we call HTTPS, and then they have the website lessencrypt.org. Okay, so when we're talking about the public key and private key, you just think about like uh, instead of sending the plain data from your computer to the web server, you just have the key, you know. Uh, having the key, it doesn't mean that uh, it does not guarantee that you gonna be safe 100% but it's gonna make the effort for the people gonna hack your data it's gonna spend more time and effort you know uh, just that you know I mean they cannot protect you 100% but if you didn't do it it's really easy for, for the people like have to get uh, your data so therefore this one is the uh, the talking about web server and then the web browser the good news is uh, the web browser gonna do everything for the user side so the user didn't need to care you know the user just use HTTPS followed by the colon uh, slash slash URL and that's it the web server is gonna have the key and then do it all okay so the let's encrypt itself is the certificate authority I mean the one who takes responsibility in order to do the issue of the certificate and then uh, we have certificate is enough or not but actually the certificate itself just is it's just like the, the the letter you know I mean the one who encrypt the letter and then let you put the uh, pass the data through the network right but you should have someone to set it up right like the post station I have something like this so if you did not have the uh, the third mod or the automatic uh, tools to do you can do it manually right but anyway I have you think this one is gonna make our job super easy so the third mod I have is the rest encrypt uh, automatic tool from the EFF organization okay so this one is some, something like the, the people who uh, offer this service for you for free I have so you didn't need to pay anything but uh, if you want uh, to pay them you can give a visit and then maybe you can donate something okay so we uh, install it on the web server side okay so this one is the third mod uh -huh. and the certificate itself I have uh, the Theoretically, they're gonna spend a lot of computer power to crack the data, you know. So it means if uh, you use the same certificate and then you did not replace it, maybe you use it for long, long time, the people may be able to crack it or maybe uh, decrypt the data. Right? But if you check every three months, three months is not enough for any people to, to break the system. You understand? That's why uh, the, the third part make you 
uh, renew the certificate every three months automatically. So you didn't need to do anything. Just set up one time and then they're going to keep uh, renew it for you. Okay. In order to do this tutorial, uh, please make sure that you have the ERP Next V uh, version 13 running on the Ubuntu uh, 20.04. Uh, so I I gonna provide the link uh, in the, uh, the tutorial. Uh, I use the digital uh, digital ocean cloud server. Uh, that is my my paid uh, service provider. Uh, and then you need to have the Nauru sudo username and password. That for me, if you uh, study my previous tutorial, my special session, uh, I use the username Amadeus uh, and then the, the password. Uh, and then uh, if you are uh, if you are running the server, so please just just cross it or maybe just maybe make sure that no one is using it. Uh, while you are uh, install the the two tools, uh, something like this. Okay, so we just go to see how it works. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, I myself, what I gonna do is I gonna go to the uh, third third bot. Uh, Okay, EFS ah, here, and then you go to that. Okay, so before I'm going inside, I'm going to come to the uh, SSH. I use the tool putty, and then if you notice, you're going to see that uh, I uh, I haven't connected it, but it's uh, actually I connected it already, but it's inactive, so I'm going to just connect it. Here we are. And then I go to my the uh, URL location, my server. Okay, and then I use my uh, username. Uh, that is the non non root sudo user. And then I uh, put the data. Uh, that that is my password. And then I can go inside. Okay, just leave it in here. Okay, next step. So what you're going to do is you need to go to the search bot website. And then said my HTTP website is running. Okay, let's see something like this. Let's see some, some simple thing. What I want you to do right now is you need to make sure that you have the server up and running in HTTP. Like this one. If you see, it's gonna be the HTTP. You know, the HTTP is mean it's not secure. You see, because you did not have any any protection, And then I just log in, and then I just use normally. I have something like this, so it's mean not secure. So next step is we gonna going to this website and then use the HTTPS. to to tell you that this one is not working right now because we have Windows the setup. HTTPS. Like this one. And then one thing, you may observe that I have the ERP next as my subdomain. Actually, uh, if I use this one uh, to do the service providing, this one is illegal because the ERP next is belong to Frappe Technology Mumbai, India. Okay, so uh, I cannot use this one when I really do the business. But actually, this is the URL that I do just for this tutorial. Okay? So it means uh, after finishing the tutorial, I'm going to just uh, delete the server. Okay? So it's going to just exit right here. So if you uh, install the ERP next, make sure that you did not use the ERP next in your domain. Okay? But for me, actually, it's my subdomain. Okay, so I push HTTPS and then they're gonna come to nowhere, right? Because I, I have Windows, but okay, so that's that's it from here. So let's go to the next step. So we go back to the third bot and then we go to the web server that is Engine X. We use the Engine X on Ubuntu 20 system. So the Engine X is the web server that uh, that uh, run, running the ERP next. Uh -huh. Okay, so we use Engine X on Ubuntu 20. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna follow the step they show on the third bot website. They said uh, it's a search into the server, we did it already. Uh -huh. And then what you need to do is you uh, have to run the uh, install the SnapD. Uh -huh. uh, snap. 
Okay, so you, you just come to install. Uh, here we are. But actually, the name is just SnapD. Uh, so you did not need to need to download anything. So maybe I just go right away. Uh, you go to here. Uh, this one, and then you just use the command sudo uh, sudo uh, app get install snapd uh, and then I need to put my password again mm, and then say snapd is already the newest version ah, okay. so you didn't need to do anything okay. so if you have it already you can just upgrade okay. or you can just uh, put this command okay. set uh, sudo uh, snap install call yeah, and, uh, and then sudo snap refresh call uh, so this one is just to ensure that you have the latest stable version okay? but actually I have it already this one I just showed to you Okay, and then you see there is no update. Uh -huh. So the next thing is we need to remove. Uh -huh. We need to remove the third bot. Uh -huh. Something like this if you have it already. Uh -huh. So what you can do, but actually uh, if you follow my, my one, uh -huh. if you follow my tutorial, uh, you will see no, uh -huh. no third bot uh -huh. because we haven't do anything like that in the previous tutorial. Uh -huh. Remove. Uh, search bot. You see? Uh, search bot is not installed, so it's not removed. Okay? And then, if it's not installed, that's good. What you need to do is you just say sudo snap install classic search bot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you need to do is you just you just uh, install the third bot program uh -huh. and then uh, we finish already okay. so the next step is we just uh, prepare to run the command yeah. sudo ln minus s slash snap slash bin slash third bot and then user bin slash search bot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, you just run this command. Uh, yeah. They ask you to shoot whether you just run automatically or you just want to run the certificate. So we didn't need to. We don't want to do the uh, the stuff manually, like so. We just use the above command: sudo cert bot minus minus n gin x. Yeah. Okay, and then they are gonna ask you. They are gonna have prompt, na right? So you may need to put the information to the prompt, na right? Something like this one, na right? Uh -huh. Okay, so a uh, general new world, okay. and then you gonna accept the term or not. You can follow uh, the URL, uh, and then you just uh, set yes, uh, something like this. Okay, select the appropriate number. Ah, you see. So if you after you said yes, uh, they gonna ask you that which name would you want to activate HTTPS because HTTPS you need to have the domain right. So this one is my subdomain and then my entire domain name. So I just said uh, number one. Uh, select the numbers. Uh -huh. Okay, so they gonna just do the certificate. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Yes, that's it. Okay. Even though you, they ask you to test the uh, uh, automatic uh, renewal, but you didn't need to because right now 
your uh, system is HTTPS already. So you can go uh, to your uh, your web browser, and then in the web browser you see I use HTTPS. So let's go, and then they're gonna come. Here they come. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's uh, that's for that. And then if you click, they're gonna have connection is secure. Okay, and then have some detail. Okay, and the question is, you still uh, use the one without นะครับ S you can or you cannot นะครับ If you try to use use นะครับ Even though you try to go to the one without the uh, S they gonna jump back to HTTPS anyway. นะ something like this one. So it means uh, our job should finish already. นะครับ Okay, and then if you want to make sure that it's going to renew. Uh, if, if they did not renew automatically, you need to run this command. Uh, sudo sudbot renew uh, minus, minus dry minus run every three months. Like, but you can use this command systemctl. Uh, okay. It said systemctl list Thomas. Uh, and then you can expand your screen. Of the SSH putty, you're gonna see snap the third bot. Okay, so it's with that's it. They're gonna run for you. Right? So you didn't need to do anything. So that's it. Right? So they said it's confirmed, but we confirm already. So this should be it for this tutorial. Thank you for seeing my tutorial, and then see you again in the next tutorial. Thank you, and bye bye.